Hello, my friends. Mrs. Philippi here. Today in our reading corner, we are going to read The Farm Flu by Teresa Bateman. She's the author, so that means she wrote the words. And the illustrator is Nadine Bernard Westcott. Hmm. Oh, my goodness. That poor cow. He looks sick. Farm Flu. I need to take my book. I think he needs to go to the book hospital. My mom's a farmer, so am I. We work the farm through wet and dry. But it was likely just as well that mom was out of town a spell when, marching through the morning dew, I heard the milk cow. Ah, 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 choo! Can you help me do that? Say, ah, 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 choo! Poor thing, I said. You've got the flu. I never helped a sickly cow. I just know how to milk and plow. But I knew what my mom would do if it were me who had the flu. I tucked the Guernsey into bed with tissues for her stuffy head. I brought her a hot alfalfa tea and fluffed her pillows hourly. The next day I was up in dawn. The Guernsey cow kept snoring on. Uh-oh. Then I heard a cockadoodle do. And the chickens clucked and went, ready? Ah, 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 choo! Oh my goodness, so now the chickens are sick. I knew just what my mom would do if it were me who had the flu. The TV room became a coop. I brought them bowls of chicken and barley soup. The barnyard called with chores to do, but then the piglets went, ah, 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 choo! Oh my goodness, everyone's getting sick. I knew just what my mom would do if it were me who had the flu. I popped the piglets in the tub and gave them all a belly rub. Then, just when I was almost through, the turkeys gobbled out. Ah, 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 choo! Oh my goodness. I knew just what my mom would do if it were me who had the flu. They changed the channel, asked for snacks, said popcorn helps them to relax. They got out the chest and checkers too. But then the donkey went, ah, 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 choo! Oh my goodness, look, the donkey's all laid up in bed and he's saying, more popcorn, please. Do you think he's really sick? I knew just what my mom would do if it were me who had the flu. Reclining on the back porch swing, he asked for some of everything. And then a wild and woolly crew arrived and loudly, bat. Ah, uh, the sheep are sick too. I knew just what my mom would do if it were me who had the flu. The attic had a little room. I cleaned it up with mop and broom and settled all my woolly guests while urging them to get some rest. That night, I didn't get much sleep. My room was underneath the sheep. The house was filled with cluck, oink, moo. How odd they all should catch the flu. The next day I arose and I, ready? Get your big yawn. <gasps> oh, yawned. The house was still as morning dawn. I stopped. I listened. No catch you. I knew just what my mom would do. Too sick to be outside, I see. Then you are too sick to watch TV. No toys, no games, just stay in bed. No popcorn, you'll have to eat mush and soup instead. <gasps> a miracle, they were all cured. They hurried out without a word and galloped to the barn with glee. And they recuperated magically. I don't think they were really sick, huh? I followed, but my steps were slow. I felt like half-baked sourdough. Relieved the end was now in view. I stumbled, I blinked, and I, uh-oh, I went, ah, ah, They quickly treated me for flu, just like my mom would do. And look, now the animals are taking care of the farmer. Do you ever take care of your animals or your pets when they're sick? Hmm, what do you do? I know when Max and Kylie are sick, I make them soup, and I tuck them in, and we snuggle and we drink lots and lots of fluid, and we stay nice and cozy. What do you do when you're feeling sick? Can you turn and tell a grown-up? All right, I hope you enjoyed our story, friends. I'll see you next time, okay? Bye.